Um, good morning, ma'am. I am Hannah May Ijongay, and um, I am one of the student nurse from Southern Luzon State University. And today, I am going to assess your abdomen. And um, before that, I am going to draw your curtains to provide you some privacy, okay? And um, for the uh, for the um, equipment that we are going to use in assessing the abdomen, we are going to use the pillow and as well as the towel. A um, <clears throat> a centimeter ruler, um, a stethoscope, and of course the marking pen. And I've already um pro uh, I I've already uh d done the um washing hands properly washing the hands and also the proper way of um gloving. And now I am going to explain the procedure to the client. So, ma'am, what we are going to do is I am going to assess your abdomen and um uh it will help the um the nurses and as well as the attending physician to know if there is a, any uh, developmental health uh, problem that that you have in your abdomen okay so now ask the client to put on a gown if available so um, and uh, there is no so uh, ask the client to put on a gown and um, if uh, if available so uh, for now we uh, we don't have any cla uh, any client <laughs> okay and so now uh, I we are uh, I'm going to ask the client to put on a gown, and since it is not available for the moment, so uh, uh, we will skip that part. And now I am going to inspect the skin. Uh, I will note for the color, the vascularity, uh, the three scars, or what we call the or what we referred as the stretch marks, and as well as the lesion. And uh, always remember to wear a gloves in inspecting the lesion. So now I am going to start. Um, I'm going to start. Just relax. Okay. Okay, the color is symmetric to the um, skin tone. And um, <clears throat> as well as the vascularity, and there is no stretch mark uh, visible in the abdomen of the client. And uh, I don't see any lesion that is uh, visible in the client's abdomen. So now um, we will be proceeding and in inspecting the, the umbilicus and noting for the color, the location, and the contour. So now I am going to inspect. Umbilicus. Okay. The color of the umbilicus is um, uh, is uh, the same with the skin tone of the, the abdomen. Okay. And then the location is just the midline in the lateral line of the abdomen. Now uh, we are going to inspect the contour of the abdomen. Okay. Okay. So uh, the the contour of the abdomen is um, is normal and it is evenly rounded. And now I am going to inspect the symmetry of the abdomen. Okay, uh, it is symmetric um, and uh, we don't have any problem if any problem with that. So now we were going to proceed in inspecting the abdominal movement. Uh, we will note the respiratory movement, the aortic pulsation, and as well as the peristaltic waves. And 
And now I am going to auscultate her vowel sounds and noting for the intensity, pitch, and frequency. And um, just make sure that the diaphragm of the stethoscope is um, warp. Okay? Okay, so now mama, I'm going to proceed. Just relax. Okay, so wait for five minutes um, to to better uh, <clears throat> to better diagnose if there is any crackling sound or if there is any abnormal sound that you can hear in the abdomen. Okay. So now I am going to auscultate for vascular sounds and friction rub uh, using the bell of the stethoscope. So, I am going to auscultate for the aorta artery, renal artery, and as well as the iliac artery. <clears throat> and so, uh, if the femoral artery is if needed. Okay, so now I am going to, to proceed, ma'am. Okay, just relax. Okay, so now I am going to percuss for the ab uh, the abdomen for two. Okay, so now I am going to percuss. So now I am going to percuss the liver. So now mom, I am going to start again. So, uh, the liver is located in the coastal, uh, in the lower area, in the coastal area, uh, about 1 to 2 cm below. So, now I am going to percuss the spin. So, now, ma'am, I am going to proceed again.
So now I am going to proceed um, in performing a uh, light palpation and I will note for the tenderness and the guarding in all uh, quadrants. Okay now ma'am, so I am going to proceed in palpating and performing a light palpation. So, I don't uh, feel any tenderness at all. Okay, now I am going to perform a deep palpation and noting for any tenderness or masses in all quadrants. So, now I'm going to perform a deep palpation. Just relax your body. Okay. And now I am going to palpate for the umbilicus. Okay, now I am going to palpate the umbilicus. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed in palpating the aorta of the abdomen of the client. Now okay, I'm going to palpate your aorta. Okay, so the aorta is uh, two to three centimeter wide, and uh, it is have uh, it have a regular um palpation uh, or regular uh, no, uh, it have a regular pulse. So now I am going to palpate the liver, uh, noting for consistency and tenderness. And I am going to uh, to to use uh, a by manual palpation with uh, both of my hands. Okay. So Uh, there is no tender tenderness that I have uh, palpated in that uh, part of the abdomen. Okay, so now palpate the spleen, uh, noting for consistency and tenderness. So now I'm going to palpate the spleen. So, uh, the consistency is normal and uh, there is no tenderness that is visible or that I've uh, palpated in the spleen. So, now palpate the kidneys. Okay. So, now I'm going to proceed in palpating your kidney. Okay, so now uh, we are going to the last part. Uh, okay, um, palpate the urinary bladder. So now I'm going to palpate your urinary bladder.
So, ma'am, all in all, uh, you don't have any underlying problems that is arising in your abdomen. And uh, we are done now with the assessment of your abdomen. And thank you for your cooperation. And uh, you may rest now and enjoy your day. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, before I leave, I will note everything that I've uh, gathered or I observed and palpated and uh, auscultated and uh, I forecast, okay? And rest assured that uh, this will be uh, this will uh, be given to the attending physicians and uh, in order to give a further diagnosis uh, in the assessment of your abdomen, okay? I will be back tomorrow uh, to inform you about the findings or about the diagnosis of the attending physician, okay? You may rest now, Mom. Thank you.